What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so don't miss future videos. So I have three financial sector stocks that you guys mentioned uh, for me to do reviews on. Uh, they're very interesting. They have about a 3% or more uh, dividend, and they're popular companies out there. So again, you guys got to hit that notification bell. I'm posting these videos for you guys, and a lot of you guys are having me say, hey, do a review on Zim, do a review on these guys. I have. And, you know, if you hit the notification bell, I posted one on certain stocks about a week ago and stuff. So, you know, I um, I am posting videos for you guys. I'm very busy in graduate school. All I asked you to do is comment in the comment section, smash that like button, hit that notification bell. And, um, again, these videos are free for you guys. So, you know, I'm doing this for you guys. I'm not doing this, you know, just because, you know, I'm on YouTube and I have all these subscribers and I'm making income. No, I want to make an impact for you guys as dividend investors. And this is why I like doing this. And again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. So let's check these stocks out right now. So the first one is Northwest Bank Shares. NWBI is a symbol. It's sitting at 12.45. Dividend yield is 6.43%. PE ratio 11 Point eleven average volume eight eighty six point nine nine k market cap one fifty eight uh, billion U S dollars one point five eight billion U S dollars excuse me year range is twelve oh four to fifteen fifteen its day range is twelve thirty to twelve fifty three and its previous close is twelve thirty four so let's check these guys out I tell you what Wikipedia makes things ten times easier. Northwest Bank is a headquartered in Columbus, Ohio, is a leading subsidiary of Northwest Bank Shares, a bank holding company. It operates 170 branches in central and western Pennsylvania, western New York, eastern Ohio, and Indiana. So NWBI is a symbol. And I was on the website. I'm like, gosh, I'm trying to do like a presentation, you guys. And it's like hard to find locations. So Wikipedia did that uh, very easy for me. Now let's check out their revenue and their dividend history. And already this looks good to me. This is in millions of US dollars. 2015, 388, 2016, 430, 2017, 469, 2018, 467, 2019, 516, 2020, 566, and then 2021, 561. So even during a pandemic, these guys are looking pretty strong. Let's check out their dividend history. So 2015, it was 14 cents. 2016, it was 15 cents. 2017, it was 16 cents. 2018, it was 17 cents. 2019, 18 cents. 2020, 19 cents. And then it cracked 20 cents on 2022. So it's looking pretty good. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 5.22%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is four. Payout ratio is 72%. Not too worried. Dividend yield is 6.48%. And the annual dividend, you bought one share, you made 80 cents. Let's check the next dividend stock. Next stock is NYCB, New York Community Bank Corp. It's sitting at $9.13. That's cheap. Dividend yield is 7.44%, a PE ratio of 7.53. Average volume, $8.49 million. Market cap, $4.27 billion U.S. dollars. Year range, 873 to 1433. Huge dip there. Day range is 899 to 928, and its previous close is 910. Already, there's a nice dip there. Let's check these guys out. With assets of $61 billion in March 31st, 2022, New York Community Bank Corp. is a holding company for the New York Community Bank, a New York state-charted savings bank serving customers throughout the metro New York, New Jersey, Florida, Ohio, and Arizona. That's not too bad at all. And right here in New Jersey, they have 41 branches. Let's see where else that they have. Uh, New York, obviously. We operate our branches and that emphasis, emphasis over convenience with over 200 locations that feature a 24-hour ATM banking. 196 of our branches are open at least six days a week. We offer our customers 24-hour access to their accounts with online banking, mobile banking, and banking by phone. So again, loans. I, I always say this about bank stocks. They're going to make money from loans. They make money from loans. They make money from people not making payments and interest. Anytime you swipe your credit card, they make money. So, you know, even if you're making your um, payments on time and not paying any interest, they're still making money anytime you swipe your card. So that's one thing about these guys and any bank um, company or financial company. Now, let's check out their revenue and their dividend history. 
So this is in millions of US dollars. 2015, 1,902. 2016, 1,820. 2017, 1,799. 2018, 1,781. 2019, 1,889. 2020, 1,769. And then 2021, 1,750. So there is a decrease in revenue. Okay, so that's one thing just to keep an eye on. Let's check out their dividend history. So 2012, it was 25 cents. 2013, 25 cents, 25 cents. Right here, 25 cents to 17 cents. I did some digging on these guys, and I did not see any stock split with this reduction. So that's one thing. There's a red flag, and that revenue. Banks make so much money. I don't understand why they're not making any money and their dividend really isn't jumping up too much there was a cut it it appears 2015 to 2016 25 you can correct me if i'm wrong 25 cents at 17 cents 2020 2021 so for a long time it was 17 cents a payout ratio of 54 percent it the dividend yield is 7.47 percent now if you bought one share you make 68 cents but this is concerning to me and I don't like this as a dividend growth stock. 22, 2022 is 17 cents. It never increased its dividend since 2016. And it looks like it decreased its dividend in 2016. So that one, I mean, sure, if you want to buy the dip, but I like dividend hikes. I want, uh, I want a raise. You know, when you're at work, you want a raise. So that one, oof, you know, hopefully they turn things around. That's one to keep an eye on. It's pretty cheap, but... Financial sector stock not increasing that's dividend. That's a major red flag for me. Let's jump to the final dividend stock. And this one's pretty hot right now. Ally Financial, it's sitting at 34.79, dividend yield of 3.45%, a PE ratio of 4.24, average volume 3.70 million, market cap 11.24 billion, year range is 33.85 to 56.28, day range is 34.08 to 35.37, and this previous close is 34.07. That is a huge dip right there. It was, I mean, look at this. I mean, it's beating the S&P, and now it just took a major dip. So already it looks like a really good traditional and or Roth IRA stock as well because it's beating the S&P. Now let's check out a little bit more things about these guys. So here's something about these guys. They're a bank holding company organized in Delaware, headquartered in Detroit. They provide financial services, including car finance, online banking, via direct bank, corporate lending, vehicle insurance, mortgage loans, electronic trading platform, and trade financial assets. They're one of the largest car finance companies in the U.S., providing car financing and leasing to 4.5 million customers and originating 1.4 million car loans annually. It is one of the largest banks in the United States by assets and has 2.0 million depositors. It's an electronic trading platform, I can't even talk today, is approximately 35,000 funded accounts via its smart auction online marketplace for auto auctions. Launched in 2000, the company has sold more than 5 million vehicles, including 270,000 vehicles sold in 2019. So the company was known as GMAC, an acronym for General Motors Acceptance Corporation until 2010. Very interesting. Let's check out their revenue and dividend history. All right, so here's some interesting trends. This is in millions of U.S. dollars. 2015, 9,539. 2016, 9,835. 2017, 9,866. 2018, 10,466. 2019, 11,618. 2020, 10,780. And 2021, 10,690. Now let's check out their dividend history. Look at these dividend hikes. 2016, it was 8 cents. 2017, is 12 cents. 2018, 13 cents then 15 cents, 2019, 17 cents, 2020, 19 cents, 2021, 25 cents, and 2022, 30 cents. Payout ratio, 14%. Number of dividend increases in the last five years is seven. Annualized dividend growth in five years is 20.64. Whoa. Dividend yield, if you bought one share, um, you made $1.26, and the dividend yield is 3.52%. So let me know what you think of this video. If you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. I will not post a video tomorrow. I may do a speed run on Thursday and go from there. I have to work uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday since I switched with someone to prepare for my exam that I took yesterday. So you guys take care and have a good one and happy Dividend Warrior Wednesday.